Okay, I'm late. Anybody there? And I'm really late tonight. <clears throat> but my necklace looks good. My makeup looks good too for like 13 hours on my face. Not too shabby. Hello. You just came on to see my jewels. Whoever you are. Declare yourself. Do you guys hear the uh, thunder? It's a little dicey here in Northern Virginia right now. Hi, Liz. Yeah, I rang. I look pretty good for 13 hours of makeup, don't I? You like that? I even did my eyes today. Mmm. And here comes Captain McCranky. Oh, but I wasn't the one complaining about not having my coffee. I know. You see, I asked him to get my coffee. Hi, Michelle. Your stepfather-in-law is being a PIA. But, no, um... It's PETA. P-I-T-A. Okay. Pain in the arse. Okay. Bye-bye. It's been one of those days. Are you guys getting the storm? Yeah, Michelle, exactly. Michelle, she looks great. Hi, Brett. Are you, Brett, are you getting the storm? We've got a big storm here right now. I'm waving him off. Ugh. He needs to go bond with somebody. Yeah, we've got lots of thunder and lightning. I'm hoping that maybe, can, maybe we can see it out the window. Now all you can see is glare. Well, we're getting big rain. Of course, the dogs are crazy. Was it bad there, Brett? Come on, Brett. Type quick. Come on, come on, come on. I was hoping to be able to do this. Hey, Karen. I was hoping to be able to do this earlier today. Because if you all saw my post, that Warrant video, Cherry Pie, how obnoxious is, is that song? But, you know, it was a great song back in the day. And we actually have, hey, Janice, we have a lip color called Cherry Pie. And ever since that came out and all the, oh, good, Brett, I'm glad it's good now. No, I've got shivering dogs downstairs. And I looked at Chris and I was like, let me go do my video, okay? It's been a long day. Anyway, um, all these girls are taking pictures of this absolutely outrageous, gorgeous red, you know, lip color called Cherry Pie, and all I can see are these guys with this, like, you know, big hair and the tight pants singing, she's my cherry pie. I mean, it's gross, okay? But the color's fabulous. So I figured bare-faced, actually not bare-faced, bare-lipped, with my eyeshadow on, I'm in pinks today, guys, from the palette, and it was amazing putting those on. What a great way to start a Monday. Yeah, you do dog nails. We did that yesterday. Janice owns Great Danes. Um, but anyway, I figured that maybe what we do tonight is play around with some lip colors. I've done this once before, but now I've got a pretty complete um, collection. And I did have a dental emergency today. Was hoping to go on earlier, but that wouldn't have been pretty because it involved my upper, it involved right here. Yeah. So it's all fixed and I'm happy. Anyway, as we've talked about in the, in the past, we have the creamy lipstick, which is soon to be paraben free, but it's it's cruelty free. It's vegan. Um, it's not chemical free, as we've said. Our makeup is not chemical free. Um, Leaping Bunny certified or Hopping Bunny certified, um, and all of our lips are. Oh, you like this, Janice? Say, oh, Janice wants to see my jewelry. Yeah, it's Chloe and Isabel. There you go. Woo! I wore a jacket today at work. This is my casual at home. Yep, and the must do. We all know how that is. Anyway, but our lips are paraben, our lips, our lip colors are paraben free with the exception of the creamy lipstick, which will soon be paraben free. Anyway, so I figured we'd play around. I actually have 
previously opened make off cloths and I figured that with these old eyes we would see what we'd get we'd start with our more neutrals in the enduring lip color so we'll do a little macaroon What do we think? This is more of a mauve I have not lined my lips. But the Enduring Lip Color, if you recall, is more of our lip stain. It's very creamy. Do we like it? I kind of like it. My blush still looks good. I'm a happy girl. Anyway, so that's one. And we'll take that off. Okay, Liz likes that. I'm saving cherry pie for last. Brett likes it. Let's see what we got right here. Look at my little... Okay, colors off. We've seen salted caramel. Does anyone want to see salted caramel again? While I wait for your answer, I'll go on to the next. We've seen wedding cake, which is a pearl up. Oh, Karen wants to see salted caramel. And if you guys recall, if you've watched the lip, more pizzazz, please. I'm getting to the pizzazz. See how it's bent? Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. Yeah, it's sort of bent, the stick. So you can actually line with it. Now, if I was going to wear this, salted caramel I would probably put a glossy you know a more glossy um, lip gloss over it something with a little blingy color to it it's pretty it's brown it's nice it's a great fall my daughter says it looks beautiful she's a sweetheart so let's get that off that salted caramel don't you all wish you had all my stuff to play with? When I do a workshop, I bring all my stuff. Or you bring your people here, and I have all my stuff. And we play. It's like playing makeup as a kid. Except now, now we all know what the good stuff is. Yeah, it is perfect for fall, Michelle. Okay. Let's go on to wedding cake. Uh, now keep in mind, guys, remember, I don't see up close. So I have to look through the bottom of my glasses. I don't know. What do we think? It's it's a different mauve wedding cake. You know, it's more of a pinky color that kind of has a brown base to it. So I kind of like the wedding cake. I think the wedding cake can go, you know, with my blacks, with my browns. I think that's pretty. Let's get this one off a little bit. I should probably put some powder on. Because I've noticed that that helps, you know, dry. But 
it's clean. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna do cupcake. Ooh, I haven't tried cupcake. Oh my, my. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it pops the color, doesn't it? Janice is going, no. Okay, but let's see something, Janice. Hold on. Let's see if we can't tone that back a little bit or make it a little bit more fun. Now that's dream. That's dream. A little blingy over that. And it kind of changes the color a little bit. I mean, it really isn't me. Still no. But it does tone it down. So if you had the right color to wear something like this, it could be pretty fun. Yeah, wow, bright needs sunglasses. Still no. Yeah, look at that. Woo! I'm probably going to wish that Captain McCranky was still here to get me some concealer. Get this pink off my mouth. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a, a younger color. I sort of feel like um, a Phyllis Diller. Or what was that lady's name in Green Acres? Jaja? Yeah, it's a Zsa, Zsa look. Not my idea of a good time. All right. So that was Cupcake. Woof. But I mean, it feels good. Cupcake feels really good on. And this one is also dark. This is called Sugar Plum. Oh my. I don't even know what to do with that. Carol Channing, there you go. Having a little problem with my Cupid's bow there. I mean... Uh, I have really thin lips, and I don't think this is a great color for me, but I like the color, and I can see it with, let's see if we can do this here, like with browns as a very, very, you know, dark, woo, exotic kind of look, but not my color, but definitely for somebody else. Yeah, and it comes out as purple. That's it right there. I would probably play with this a little bit more. That sugar plum would look fabulous on somebody with olive skin. I think it would really play it up. Let's see if we can't do a real good swipe. My mouth area. Yeah. Definitely a darker skin tone. Okay. Okay. Now let's go for <clears throat> let's go for cherry pie. That's cherry pie. Now back in the day, guys, when the smoking wasn't getting to me, I wore red all the time. I wore the Chanel red. And I have no idea what this is going to look like. This is a virgin run. <laughs> Got to get closer.
Now, if it wasn't almost 8.30 at night and I hadn't been up all day, I could work with this a little bit. This is a true, true, true red. I mean, I like the red. Makes my teeth look really white. But um, I think what I would do to it, you know, and keep in mind, too, that I usually outline better and my cupid bow is more pronounced because of my contouring. I think I would probably put bliss over it, you know, um, which is the lip gloss that has the, the gold in it. So let's see what that does. Yeah, that gives it some depth. You know what I feel like? You know that um, that movie with Betty Davis in it? What's it called? Whatever Happened to Sweet Baby Jane? And her lipstick's like all up her nose and off her mouth. That's what I feel like. Yeah, but that that's a much nicer look. And that's cupcake. Or not cupcake. Cherry pie with um, the bliss over it. Which I love this. And it's not orange, as you can tell, on the mouth. So, that's definitely a keeper, that combination. What do you guys think? Keeper? Look at all my colors. All of them. Yeah, boy, that, that's a true red on this thing. Yeah, I think it's better with the gloss over it too, Brett, because it gives it a dimension. You know, when you're young and your lips are perky and you haven't smoked for years, you tend to be able to wear the matte finishes. I do need a little bit more gloss on mine. And then the other thing I want to try is just plain gloss. What I like about this stuff is that it does come off fairly easily. For being as dark as it is. And I get, you guys know I get red, so. And our wipes definitely take off almost all the residue. Except for that little piece right there. It's so fun shredding tissue. Oh, there you go. Wedding cake. You liked wedding cake, Brett. Cupcake was that one. Okay, now let's look at our glosses. Same thing. Paraben-free, cruelty-free, vegan, yes with chemicals. Um... But that's pretty, pretty pure stuff. So you know what I want to do? I want to look at this plane. Got a little remnant of my red in there. Now that's the plain bliss. Oh, you can see it. Little bits of sparkle. And if I wanted to mess that up a little bit, let's go with Grace in our bling bling with, don't forget, little mirrors. That's not bad, right? Goes with my pink eyeshadow. Ugh. I'm a poser. Sorry, guys. I like that. Dad. Hey, Christopher, I think he's downstairs, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, so that was Bliss with Grace over it. Now, it would be pretty, too but it's not my color, is those two. 
with this settling out the cupcake. I think that'd be pretty. Now, I showed creme brulee the other day, and I left it at work, but um, Jessica Mancini wears this, the Bliss, over the creme brulee. I mean, it's her go-to look. So that would be really, really pretty, too. And I just love these little blingy cases. Okay, here's Peace. That came out kind of thick. That's kind of pretty. I'm not a pink, a real, real big pink wearer, but it's a soft pink. So that was peace. I'm going back to my wipe. I like my wipe better. These wipes feel so good when you use them. Michelle, do you use the wipes? Yeah, no, I agree with both you and um, Karen, Brett. It is really nicely understated. So that was peace. Let's try faith. I love the names of these two. Peace and grace next to each other. Oh, sorry, Michelle. Is that good? You know what? Let me go this way on him. Hold on, sweetheart. Oh. There you go. This one is much brighter. This one's a little bit more muted. And then you can throw Faith in there, and that's more of your mauve brownish tone. This is Faith. That would be my go-to. Yeah, I like Faith. And what's nice about these is that they're not sticky. You know how when you put put on lip gloss sometimes, it's like, and you get the threads, okay? These are totally not sticky. And you don't feel like, you know, you've got, you've got Vaseline on. That's my big complaint about um, lip glosses in general, is you just feel suffocated. Um, but I like this. I like this very much. So that's what I'll be wearing at Lamlat Palooza. Everybody's trying to decide what they're wearing. I just posted pictures of shoes because I thought it was funny. I'm surprised people aren't posting pictures of their underwear. I mean, it's hysterical, God bless. So, a lot of packing, a lot of trying to figure out how they're going to get five carry-ons for two days worth of sitting in a classroom, nine to five. But it's going to be fun. All righty. Let's go back and do some. Don't give Jess a. Oh, Michelle, she already has them. She already has them. Okay. This is a pinky. This is Hope. And these don't have the bent tip like the Enduring Lip Colors. And honestly, that pink, this pink, Hope, okay, 
I probably like the best out of all the pinks I've had on tonight. You know, if, if I had a little bit more color on my cheeks and wasn't being backlit by all this brown lighting, you know, it would probably be fairly good. You know, pinker cheeks, what do you all think? Anybody like this color for themselves? It's pretty. Yeah, so do I, Janice. I think Hope is really pretty. And look, ladies, so I don't have to use my teeth. Because my dentist was mad at me for ripping up open last week with my teeth. He thinks so that's what that's what stressed my porcelain a little bit. Causing my dental emergency where I can't do my um she's my cherry pie look earlier today. Yeah, it wouldn't have been pretty. I look like something out of a James Bond movie. What was that character's name with the silver in its mouth? Yeah, it was real pretty. See, and just that you get it a little bit too, I just wiped the top, right? I still got a little bit on the bottom. And look at how pink that looks, but once you, Jaws, exactly. Once you get it on, do you know what I mean? It really sort of changes quite a bit. The colors are, are pretty true, though. Like, what I'm seeing, you're seeing me backlit and, um, you know, with glare on my glasses and everything. But when I look at these colors up against what what's going on in my mouth, you know, it's pretty true. All right, we've done hope. Let's do dream. Oh, this could be a problem. I don't know if it's going to be a good problem to have or a bad one. Hmm. That's more natural, that lighting for me. That's usually what I look like under lighting. That's not bad. For a whiny, plummy kind of color. What do we think? Anybody have any ideas? Not bad at all? Okay, that's dream. You can't see the difference? Oh my God, look. There's difference for you. Between this, you mean, and this? There's a little bit of difference. Okay, this is what I have on. It's got a little bit more of a plummy color to it. See? See it now? As opposed to... I think it's this one. This is what I have on as opposed to that. This has a lot more shimmer in it, I think. Yeah, I like the darker one. Darker one's called Dream, Janice. Be real pretty on a blonde. Um, I'm going a little bit more red these days in my hair. You know, I've still got my blondie highlights, but I am going for the fall more red. So that'll be interesting to see what I do with color. That's why I'm so glad I have the palette that I have. The neutrals, because it's it's so good. And I actually use the neutral today um, in the black as an eyeliner using that bent um, liner brush, and I loved it. I almost did a cat eye. All right, look at this. This is an eggplant color. It'd be great for evening. I would probably mix it. I would probably use this maybe over something lighter. Like maybe um, creme brulee would be fun. I'm thinking maybe even salted caramel. Uh, 
Oh, that went on lousy. User operation error. That's called joy. And I am getting red. And I'm not getting it everywhere it needs to be right now. I would love to see this on somebody with really full lips. Because I think it would be really, really pretty. Oh, I am goth, Janice. You didn't know that? <laughs> <coughs> but again, <clears throat> dark colors always make my teeth look so white. Yeah, it is goth. It's pretty... Look at it, how it comes out. One of these days, I'm going to make myself up in black and do a porcelain colored face. And do some plummy shadows, plummy and green, and then sport that. Take my picture and post it right on your page, Janice. Okay, and we have one more. Love. Cruella. No, baby, this is Cruella color right here. Coming right up. I wear this a lot. Believe it or not. Over an enduring lip color, which sort of tones it down. one of my favorites. Oh, and it's Captain McCranky again. But this is love. It's not Cruella, Brett. It's love is the name of it. And I really like it. I um, love you too. I know. He loves me too. He must need something from me. No. I'm just... You know what? What it's been... But I've worn it with macaron. That's been real pretty. And I've worn it with um, creme brulee. And I've worn it over salted caramel. So if I'm going to do a red, this will probably be my red. And anyway. In 18 hours, she looks as beautiful as she did at the start of the day. Oh, yeah, at 4 o'clock in the morning. You like that, Liz? I think it's a good, clean color. Mm -hmm. The boys are going downstairs. Don't you watch The Last Ship. We're not going to Don't you do that. If you guys haven't gone. watched that, it's fabulous. Eric Dane's in it, and he's really hot. Who's sweet? Captain McCranky? Oh, my God. You should see him at 4 o'clock in the morning. He wakes me up so I can, like, be with him while he gets ready. And then he sticks his face in his phone. I'm like, okay, dude. So when I stick my face in the phone, he says, are you going to make me uh, some lunch? I'm like, sure, honey. Whatever. No, he's not naked, Janice. 20 pounds ago, maybe I'd have him naked on video. Not these days. <laughs> and my daughter-in-law's on, so we have to be careful. <laughs> yes, Michelle, we're crass. Okay, so I think what I'm going to go back to... Is this Lizzie? You've been in my house numerous times. You know what this household's like. Lizzie's come over to pick something up that I had for her when I'm still in my pajamas. Poor Thor was crawling through the house. Yeah, it's crazy. That's, a, that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's wedding cake. 
wish I had my creme brulee with me and it wasn't sitting on my desk. And that's love put over it. Which isn't too bad. Right? Do you like it? Oh, do I have anything hard to? No, I don't. Which one is everything you'd want in a color? Because I have wedding cake with um, love over it. That's a little bit different. And it's really stunning over creme brulee. Yeah, the wedding cake is a pretty color. You know, and they're all good. Um, it just depends. I mean, I know people, my sister would rock this color. She would rock it. Okay. Um, my niece would rock sugar plum. You know, because um, it's, you know, 17 years old, you can look, you can look goth and get away with it. You like Dream? Let me find Dream. Oh, yeah, you did like Dream, didn't you? And I can't find it, Janice. Peace, Joy. You didn't like... Did you like Dream? Dream for you, Janice? Sorry, I think you did like Dream. See, now, now you've PK'd my interest, and i got to go back to it. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. I should use my little mirror, which is actually better than getting close to the screen. Yeah, Dream's pretty good. Now I have the downturn, and I let. I also don't have any lip liner on. That's sitting here in my uh, bag next to me. Hey, Kimmy. Kimmy, the group took a vote, and we want you to use this enduring lip color, and we want you to use this lip gloss over it. You or Andy can do that. What do you think? It does have more frost. Because keep in mind, the frostier ones, Brett, are the, the lip glosses. Okay? And then the lip colors are more of a stain. Some of them have a little bit of frost, but the, the bling bling frost is in the bling bling packaging. Which, you know, I kind of like. And it does, you know, if, if you're into having people... Look at it and go, oh, wow, that's really cool. You know, I'm beyond that at my age. And with my experience, it's like, really, you think it's cool? I use it because it's cute. And it looks good. So. There we go. Now I'm barefaced. Anybody have any questions about ingredients? Are you all good with those? Did you all, did you all happen to watch the video? I posted earlier today, I got the permission from, um, yeah, the Dream and the Gold Gloss was good. Um, I got permission from the beauty guy to post it. It's her story about why she's passionate about um, natural skin care. Anybody see it? Come on. It's okay if you didn't. Okay, if you didn't, you know, when she first posted it, she, you know, somebody else in the group said, you know, can we share this? And she, you know, felt very honored because she tells a very personal story about how um, she and her husband recently got a call from, you know, a, a close family friend that, you know, they have been di diagnosed with cancer. And it went into the whole thing about how she, you know, appreciated the skin care. And it, it, she's so articulate. Um, and when we asked her if we could share it, of course she said yes. She was very gracious. And, um, it started to share around and Janice immediately said, I can't see it, which led me to believe that somehow in her settings, she had, um, 
not made it public, but she had posted it public in her group like this group. She has a group like this. And she said, snag it from there and let me find out what I did wrong. And she didn't realize that when you post as an individual, like when I post um, going live in the group, okay, I can choose how I want that to post, whether I want it to post um, publicly on a friend's timeline. Um, I can send something in Messenger or from that, that drop-down tab on my phone. And she had actually set it to private, you know, and didn't mean to um, because it was her intention to share. So I went ahead into her group, joined her group, which, you know, she didn't have a problem with, and then shared it from there, um, which was good. But but give it a listen because it really does, you know, put a little bit different um, spin on things, you know, especially the older we get. You know, I don't know about you guys, but my mother, okay, she still has friends, okay, who are alive. My mother is 82, 83 years old, all right, and cancer was unheard of in her age group, and they were the ones in California throwing fondue parties, drinking cocktails, and smoking cigarettes, okay? So you really got to wonder at some point what's changed environmentally for us. Um, her, most of her friends are still alive. One of them lives in Richmond. There's another one in Florida, um, North Carolina. All the people that I knew growing up, going back to even Austin, New York, when I was five years old. And then I look at us, and we've got breast cancers, and we have leukemias, and all this other stuff. So at some point, you know, even though I smoke, which I'm not proud of, you know, I'm just going to put it out there. You know, we really have to look at the carcinogens in our environment. And when the stuff we put or that we use for skin care, you know, gets absorbed within like 30 seconds into our bloodstream, at some point we have to make rational, wise choices, which is why, you know, we get a lot of interest in our makeup. Um... And because it's good. It's excellent. I mean, look at me. This is 13, almost 14 hours later. The whole thing. As you see it, no touch-up. Maybe you could tell because I'm a little shiny right now. I don't think our press power is designed to go 14 hours. Maybe 13, 12, but not 14. But, yeah, too much processed food, beauty items, you know, and, and additives. But I think if you look at, you know, if the skin is your largest organ of the body. You know, you've got to take good care of it. So going with an all-natural skincare line really makes a dramatic difference, okay, in the foundation piece of what you're putting, you know, makeup product on. And if it's clean and if, if it's well taken care of and if you're not, you know, ingesting chemically through your largest organ, your skin, all these, you know, carcinogens and, and toxic things, then you're naturally going to look better. I mean, I think I naturally look better over the past six to eight weeks than I have in years. Um, it's not because I'm not stressed, trust me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the stress is real. So, you know, the thing is, is that really look at the skincare piece of this and then look at, you know, the foundations and everything else because it it complements each other. It's building blocks for each other. And I cannot wait for my quench therapist to arrive that it's shipped today. Yay, Karen, it should be here quick. Karen's in uh, Virginia with me, Janice. Janice just got hers today. Over the weekend, it hit Florida, and then it sat in Tampa. Okay, I, I was tracking it, Janice. So, you know, she got hers today, and, and she laid it out pretty, and she has a a great Dane that I adore, that's Storm and Norman, and a very similar sofa um, to this in terms of the styling. And I was like, you decorate just like I do. And she goes, what, with the Danes? And I'm like, no, the whole thing. The fringe on the pillows, you know, I got fringe on everything. This pillow behind me has fringe on it. Oh, yeah. So we're a little nuts up here. But anyway, so Karen got mine today, used it once, and I'm in love. Do you love it, Janice? Janice is very picky. She's an RN. She's a manager. She's a dog lover. We're all crazy. So she's, she could be my twin. She could be an older sister, my twin, probably younger sister. 
She could be a Thelma to my Louise. Yes, yeah, same pillow, exactly. But, um, you know, she was a little skeptical. She's used, you know, a number of products. She got that today. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm so glad, Janice. I knew you would because it really does speak for itself, the skincare part of this. Um, and once you're on it, you don't want to go back to anything. You know, it's, it's, you want it and then you start adding, you know, the, the makeup products. I mean, look at this. That's coverage. And I have a little, little blemish somewhere right in here. And when you look at it, it's not on my hands or anything else. And I have a fully covered face and I did not use finishing spray today. I shouldn't admit that, but I didn't, you know. Um, you can still see a little bit of concealer here. You know, it's designed to last. And it's a fabulous yin to my yang. Exactly. So, it, you know, it's a fab fabulous combination of stuff. But, you know, I was telling a young girl today at work. She's 25 years old. I said, look, because she told me she didn't wash, wash her face yesterday. I said, look, it doesn't matter what you put on to cover it up. It's still there. Okay? And it's still going to come out. And it's still going to be raunchy. And, to, you know, by tomorrow, you're going to be like, oh, God. So I threw a mask of Zen at her, <clears throat> scooped some out of my thing, using, you know, good clean technique, and said, you better go home and put this on your face. Because, like, in the, their youth, kids don't get sometimes that, you know, yeah, Zit is a weak, you know, but you're doing so much other damage. And it's really the, the skin care part of it that will change, you know, how that makeup looks on you, okay? It's, it's like throwing paint on a wall that's, you know, got mold on it. What, you know, what do you do with that? If, if you're not taking care of your skin, it's the same thing. So, well, Brett, if you're interested, message me, and um, we'll chat about it, okay? Because I think, you know, you would probably be um, very, very pleased. <clears throat> I like it. I'm pretty picky, and um, we'll look at that. Let me see. I had no beauty routine until a couple months ago. I'm pretty obsessive about clean products, and so I would use just water. I would just use water. I'm excited to use something that is natural and good for my skin. Good, Karen. You had no beauty routine. Well, you know, the thing is, too, about a beauty routine, routine and about, you know, applying makeup and everything... You know, I have, I went to high school with a girl named Nancy, and she literally, watching her put on makeup was painful, okay? Because she would put coats of mascara on like this, and she's in her mirror. She had beautiful lashes. And then she would take a pin, a straight pin, and she would separate her lashes. It was the craziest thing. Do you know who I'm talking about, Brett? She lived right down the street from you. I'm blanking on the last name. Come on, Brett. I know you know Nancy. Thin, long, dark hair. Anyway, she'd separate her her, um, her eyelashes. Ridiculous. Okay? And when you watched her do this stuff, you, you like swore, you know, that you would never wear makeup because it took forever. She was always late to everything. It's like an hour separating her eyes. You know, we're like, party on, you know, Hamilton which was a big street of the parties, and Nancy could never get out of the house to go. And it's like, come on. So when people talk about routines and, and regimens, you know, oftentimes we think of these very complex rituals. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't like anything complex. Okay, I am ritualistic. You know, I like my stuff, and I like it to be where I want it to be. The little OCD coming on. Did she come up with the name? Oh, come on. Drew Roan liked her, Brett. I'll think of a name and I'll PM you. Anyway, um, the Alzheimer's kicking in. Uh, where we? Oh, the makeup. But I don't have time for that kind of stuff, so it's got to be easy. It's really got to be easy for me. And I'm telling you, these eyes, I picked a palette up for the first time. I said, you know what? I'm going to play with these colors right here. Four colors, okay? Picked them up. Dab my brush, literally touched my brush, okay? And that stuff is so pigmented, our palettes, that I nailed out two eyelids and all the way up, okay? Without having to re-dip my brush, all right? So when it's quick 
and it's easy and it's quality product, you're done. Okay, so the routine, all right, becomes much smaller than, than what you're used to. When people think three products, they go, oh my God, three products, you know? And the thing is, is it, it's so easy and it feels so good that the time that you spend doing it, which is minuscule in the greater realm of things, okay, is, it's mindless. It's just mindless. So that's where we're at. I'm looking pretty good. Now I got to get a clean cloth and clean my face, throw on my sports bra and my yoga pants. What a picture. One of these days I should do a video on that. Hmm. That would be interesting. Last name Alexander. Oh, you know what? I think it was her mom. They were Greek. Remember Greek Orthodox. She was beautiful. She lived right down the road from you. The house was kind of creepy, though. It's a little weird. Anyway, how important it is. Wish I had started sooner. Your skin looks amazing. Well, you know what, Karen? Honestly, I'm 55 years old. I've done everything wrong, okay, <laughs> and lived to tell about it. Um, like I was telling Christopher the other day, he was telling me a story, and I was like, oh, so did the person do ABC, XYZ? He goes, how do you know about that? <laughs> He's so funny. And I looked, and I was like, really, Christopher? The legend the legendary stories have it made it down to your little ears. Come on now. Okay. So anyway, um, starting soon, starting later, starting whenever, you know, I've done it wrong. I'm here to tell you that, that there is, you're my favorite. I got to be somebody's Karen. You know, the thing is, is that I'm here to tell you that don't look back. Just don't look back. Just get the stuff on you. See how it works for you, okay, and and go from there. Because if I can have this kind of skin at 55, soon to be 56, what if I had started in my 30s? I'd be a knockout, okay? I'd have to suck it in and stop smoking, but I'd be a knockout. Anyway, are we good? Get put the yearbook. Oh, get out the yearbook. Oh, Kim, you know what? There isn't a day that I don't thank God that we did not have social media back in those days. Because the days of swinging the nunchucks, okay, down, going down the hallway and the candies and the half slip in the bra, okay, yeah. <laughs> those days should never be captured on video. Anyway, we're good? All right, I'm going to bed, and I got to think of something. You know, I'm thinking maybe I may do... A mask of Zen. And we'll see. Aw, thanks, Brett. Anyway, yeah, we may do a mask of Zen tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe I'll save that for Wednesday. And then we have oh, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is a little tricky because remember I can't see up close. Okay? Like this is very difficult for me because I'm blurry. And did you notice how my left eye is kind of funky? And here's something else, too. I have lenses in my eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but watch. Tell me if my eyes glow. Do you see a glow? My eyes actually give off a cast. And there are people who will talk to me, <laughs> like at night, and like if I'm at a party, and all of a sudden they look at me, and they go, right? And I'll go, are my eyes glowing? And they do because it's a reflective thing from the new lenses when I had the cataracts removed. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But no, I can try to do eyeshadow. If you guys are patient with me, you know, I can try and do it. But, you know, I have a big makeup mirror um, that you guys sort of saw from the side. And I can do really good eyeshadow on that, but it's hard with the camera. So maybe I can figure out how to put the camera next to it. Do you know what I mean? And kind of angle it in as opposed to coming from behind. And you can actually see, you know, what I do and how I do it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow night. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, we'll figure it out together. It's always better when we figure it out together as a group anyway. Anyway, those of you over 50, Boomer Babe page. Check it out. Ask to join. Because we're cranky. Anyway, that's it. And I will maybe just swatches on your wrist. Now, Karen, I'll do the eyeshadow for you. Yeah, I'll absolutely do it for you. Okay? Love you guys. Gotta go. See ya. <laughs>